Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Art Nulver and today I want to show you into the secrets of Latrum. No, but on the real side though, recently I discovered this really neat feature that allows you to adjust the opacity of any preset. And it has improved the workflow for me in tremendously. So I just want to share it with you. So start off by opening up your computer and open up any browser that you use. So this is actually a plugin that you need to download. So go into www.capturemonkey.com slash the fader. All right. Uh, in here, you are going to click the download button and it will start the download for you. Okay. Now, when you've finished that, you open up your Lightroom, you go to file, plugin manager, show in explorer. All right. And here you then find your fader. I've already done this. Just find the fader, boom, and you drag it in. All right. Now we, would be, we pretend that I drag this in because I've already done that. And when you've done that, you just click done. Voila, finish. Now you have it. Maybe you have to reset the program. I can't remember. But after, when you have this, you can go to plugin extras, the fader. And here's the magic, <laughs> look. So let's say that I've been working on this photo, okay? I kind of like it like this, but maybe I want to have it a little bit more. Then I just drag it to the left. And if we wait a little bit, my computer is pretty slow. Now you see what happens. You see how it increased everything? We drag it all the way here. And we wait again because my computer is pretty slow. Here, it increased everything. Uh, now, the beauty of this is that it takes every single, uh, every single thing here and it either drags it out or in. So you don't have to do that manually. So if we take and we take it all the way to the right here um, and we wait a little bit because my computer is pretty slow. But as you can see here, it is already taking everything like this and now it looks like this. Not so good, but you know, like how many times have you like set on a preset, you think to yourself, man, this looks pretty good, but this is a little bit too much. What if I just could, you know, maybe drag down the opacity a little bit, that would be so great. Well, now you can with this plugin. And I absolutely love it. Let's take, for example, uh, something that would not fit. Like, okay, here, here we have a Peter McKinnon uh, uh, preset looks horrible like this. It's a great preset. I've used it before, but like this, it looks horrible. But maybe you think like, oh, I like the purpleness of this, but it's way too much. Then you just go to plugin, extras, the fader. If I am able to, the fader, there it goes. And you drag it down. And, and then you just wait my computer is slow. Hopefully you don't have to wait. Hopefully you have a massive computer, but my computer is pretty slow. So, and now it looks way better. This I could actually start to work with if we start to drum. And there's really nothing more to it. This is so simple. I love it. And I hope that you guys have fun with it. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. On the net, press that like button for me. It really helps me out. If you have any other tips, let me know. I'm always, I'm, <laughs> I'm always learning. I, I, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. If you have any tips for me about other plugins that are necessary, let me know. Um, other than that, I guess I'm just gonna see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Boy, why did I do this?